So we started a new study in the lab this week, and we're discovering that it's going off in a million different directions. There's so many different sub-studies that need to be done on this, but I wanted to drop some of the initial findings with you because I think they can help you in your daily life. So this study was actually inspired when I found my neighbor lady recently looking through the windows of my car in the middle of the night. So we wanted to really push this one through because I think it has practical application for most of us in our daily lives. So many of us know Busybody as somebody who meddles in your business, spreads gossip, is constantly found where they're not needed. And I think that most of us can relate to this both in the office and in our personal lives. We found that these people span gender, span age. There is really no very specific group to place them in other than in the busybody category. One of the fascinating facts that we've discovered is that there really is a slippery slope between a busybody and an energy vampire. So I think that we're gonna be doing a separate study on energy vampires because there's a whole other can of worms to be looked at there. So essentially we've discovered there's five different ways to deal with a busybody. The number one way is to not get lured in. Do not let them pull you into their narrative. Do not let them coax you with their sympathetic ways into giving information that you do not want to give. If you would not post something publicly in social media, do not tell this person any information. Another warning is that you do not want to confront them. Calling them out on this behavior often causes them to become enraged and therefore the possibility of them moving into a troll is great. So we wanna go ahead and avoid that. So skip confrontation if at all possible. Now we've discovered that the gold standard of dealing with a busybody is negative association. So essentially anytime they come around you, you want to immediately ask them to do something that they don't want to do. Give them a task, a job. If you're in a position of power over them, this is ideal because you can give them busy work, work that they really dislike, and then eventually they will stop coming around because they've discovered they come to chat, they leave with more work, therefore the negative association. Another great way to deal with them is to give them special projects. These are projects that seem like something only they can do, but often amount to a large amount of busy work, which when added to their daily job, takes up so much of their time that they do not have any free moments for gossiping or harassing other people. Now, as a last resort, you're gonna have to ignore them. This could involve locking your office door, pretending you don't see them, pretending you don't hear them, wearing headphones constantly. And although this does seem mean, you have to remember that they started it, and so that's what they get. 